Remember picture day in high school? I'd spend hours picking out what I would wear and perfecting my hair. That's especially true for senior year pictures. Here's mine. I sat in the chair all day long to get those braids. <laughs> but now, imagine picking up your yearbook and seeing that your picture has been edited without your consent. That is what happened to 80 female students at Bartram Trail High School in St. John's, Florida. The teacher who edited the yearbook apparently decided that their outfits violated the school's dress code. As you can see here, the girls' pictures were edited in really odd ways to cover more of their chests. Now take a look at this photo from that same yearbook. Yes, that's two boys from the swim team in their Speedos. Nothing about them is edited to cover up anything. The school's dress code states girls cannot wear shirts that are considered revealing or distracting. Also, midriff or cutout dresses and cutout tops may not be worn. But this isn't the first time the school has decided what is and isn't appropriate attire. Two months ago, 31 girls were pulled out of class because of what they were wearing. Parents are saying there is an obvious double standard. Look, high school can be tough, and it can be especially hard for girls because of peer pressure. Now you're essentially objectifying teenage girls and then saying it's their fault and punishing the girls for that objectification, which makes absolutely no sense. So joining me to discuss is Liz Plank. She is a journalist, author, and columnist for MSNBC Daily. Liz, one reaction I had is that when adults get so bothered by what girls are wearing, I'm like, why are you looking mm -hmm. at the girl and like thinking about cleavage? Like, doesn't this say more about the adults mm -hmm. than the girls? Absolutely. It says so much about our society that, you know, dress codes are not for the girls' sake, they're for the boys' sake, right? They're uh, not designed to protect girls from violence. They're designed to protect boys from accountability, from their own actions. Uh, and dress codes are bad for two reasons. And you've uh, given us such a great uh, explanation of why. But let me add, first of all, that they do not work, right? If dress codes worked, um, girls would not be sexually harassed, would not be sexually abused. Uh, almost every girl who's been a teenage girl has experienced all of those things. So dress codes, uh, I had some when I was growing up. I know you probably did so too. 20, 30 years later, uh, we still have all of these issues. And the second thing that's important to talk about when we talk about dress codes is that they're very unhealthy. As you mentioned, being a teenage girl is hard enough. Uh, the body shaming that you impose on yourself based on how society perceives you, based on all of the messages that young girls receive, mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, having it be sanctioned by your school or your principal, right, or the male professors that are in charge is extremely creepy. It just sets you up to think that it is your job to control men's behaviors. Well, that's exactly it because, you know, dress codes basically tell girls that you should be quote unquote modest, right? And mm -hmm. if you are modest and you're a good girl, then you'll avoid yeah. sexual assault. You're, you'll avoid sexual harassment. But that is a lie. You can't actually respectability your way out of assault mm -hmm. because it's the person committing the assault that is the problem. So when we're when we're telling girls to dress mod modestly, isn't that just basically making girls responsible for the boy's behavior? Right, which is not in their control, right? Uh, and, you know, sexism produces really bad problems, but sexism also produces really bad solutions. And to me, this is a parody of a bad solution. I mean, look at that photoshopping. Look at how awful that looked. In some of these photos, the girls look like they're they're literally like we're naked underneath and there's a black bar hiding their bodies. It, it's it's completely, uh, 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 I think, offensive um, to th there we go in that image. Um, and so the very bad solutions that we come up with are things like dress codes. That why that's why it has not worked. And that's why girls continue to be subject to all kinds of uh, difficulties, whether it's sexual harassment or sexual abuse when they are in school. And so we have to start thinking outside of the box of sexism and patriarchy, because the problems that dress codes are trying to address are real problems. It's just the solutions do not work and actually add more harm. Definitely. The other piece of this as well is that teenage girls struggle with their body image. And as many as one in 10 
suffer from some type of eating disorder or disordered eating. I mean, I did sports and I said I did gymnastics and track and field, and I also no. did track and field. I don't know that I met I love it. a teammate. I didn't have a teammate that didn't have some sort of issue with food. Mm-hmm. Does strict dress codes like this reinforce, you know, the shame that girls are acculturated to have about their changing bodies at this age? Yeah, it, it again, it, 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 uh, girls are already objectified, right? Girls already are, are subject to all of this attention and policing and surveillance. So to, again, have it be done by their school, by, by, by an educational institution, just adds more harm. And, you know, I, I want to share something, too. It's insulting to girls. It's also insulting to boys. Uh, I did some reporting back uh, a few years ago in in Kentucky. There was actually a school where uh, uh, these young girls actually were able to change their dress code. Um, There were all kinds of rules about collarbones being exposed and, you know, a credit card being used to measure their tops, like very, very uh, ridiculous things. And so one thing that they told me was that, you know, it's very insulting for us as, as girls, but the boys are almost just as mad as we are. Because what do dress codes tell uh, boys? They tell them, well, you have no willpower. You have no control over your actions. Mm. And that objectifying girls and objectifying the opposite sex is something you can't help, right? And that we need to cover them cover them up yeah. so that you don't screw up. And and that's very, I, you were talking about Gen Z, right? And, and how different right. they are as a generation. I think there are a lot of Gen Z boys who are insulted by that um, as well. So I'd love to hear them uh, scream and shout about this just as much as the girls. Who knew somebody in the world is like, we need to cover up collarbones. And then they created a mechanism to measure. It's just weird. People have strange mm-hmm. things that they're focused on. They need more yeah. hobbies. Okay, Liz Plank, <laughs> thank you so much um, for being here. It was an incredibly important and serious conversation, but also I like to make jokes. Hi, I'm Zerlina Maxwell. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more from Zerlina by clicking any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thanks for watching.